Did you know you can turn a Y-axis Delrin Wheel 3D printer into a linear rod printer just by using this simple upgrade? First, download and print these 3D models. Next, remove your bed and your limit switch and connect your limit switch like this. You can use your same nut and bolt that you took from the printer and attach the printed part to the aluminum extrusion like this. Now, connect the linear rod to the printed part like this. Remove the Delrin wheels from your bed and attach your new 3D printed mount for LM12 UUV2, shorter Z. Now, mount the bed onto the rod like this and lock it with the final printed part. Connect the wires and mount the heat bed to the bed mount. Finally, turn on the printer and home it using G28. To calibrate the new length y-axis, move the bed in 10 centimeter increment until the bed reaches the printed part. Update your clipper or slicer settings to reduce the bed size. Before you start 3D printing, use ADXL345 to measure the printer's resonant frequencies and automatically tune input shaping for fast and smooth 3D printing. These are the values that I got. Watch the full video for a complete guide.